this video is going to be a little bit different. I've done a fair few videos on tutorials and all that stuff, but I figured it might be interesting to get a sense of how I stay organized and plan everything out. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video. I find myself getting stressed pretty easily when I don't have an overview of what I'm supposed to be doing or if I'm just too messy in life, especially balancing personal life, work, YouTube, all that stuff. So it really makes it nice to stay on top of all of that. The way I do it is through Notion, and I wanna say thank you to Notion for sponsoring this video. I'll also be releasing a free template based on my Notion setup. So if you're interested, you can always head to the link in the description and download it for free and use it however you want. So in Notion, this is kind of like my main page. Let's start with the top of the page. I have a couple of different pages. I have the yearly goals, I have After Effects expressions, super good one to have, especially if you do animation like I do. And I did dump and music collection. So if we go into the first one, into the yearly goals, it's pretty self-explanatory. I have a couple of different things that I've listed out. Now this one is back from the beginning of 2023. So this is kind of like what I've done. And this is what I thought I'd want to do throughout the year. I really like keeping track of kind of like some goals so you can see, okay, what have I done in the year? How did I think this upcoming year was gonna go? I need to update this, but as you can see, I managed to do two things. Instead, I had some goals of walking daily, post short form video, which I haven't done at all, do some investing, starting to get a little bit into that. And I was really planning on 2023 to be kind of a year where I went out and did a lot of photography and video work, cause that's kind of what I've, I was planning on doing. It's something I've always loved to do, but then I just kind of stumbled into making, spending so much time on motion design that that's just kind of what it's gone going to be now and the same with the social media ads these are still some things I'd like to do not so much the wedding work some spec ads and all that stuff to still explore some of that I've worked on some journaling and I'm still trying to incorporate it in a way that kind of makes sense and then the weekly streams I did a couple and then I stopped so but we're getting back into that with the patreon doing some monthly streams so this is just kind of like an overview it makes it super easy to just drag in between so I can move them back and forth like with this one and then I can get an overview okay this is what I've accomplished. So journaling, you can put that in doing because that is something I am working on actively. Same with investing. I also just love how aesthetically pleasing it is and it feels really good being able to drag it. Just adds a little bit of a physical aspect almost to, to this. So this is a super cool one. I like having it, typing out and I really need to update this. So we definitely need to be doing that because I have a couple of things that I don't wanna share with the public just yet, but we'll have a look at it again next year, hopefully when the new year comes around. If we go back into the cave, the main, the map cave as I call it, we can go into the After Effects expressions, which is just a super useful way you can copy expressions and keep track of them, like the inertial bounce, which if you've watched any of the tutorials, you know I use a whole bunch, so I've got that in here, easy to copy. Cool thing about Notion is that you can create so many different things. So if you hit the little plus icon here, you can see how many different things you can add and even have some AI features, images, all that stuff. But then I've just added a code snippet, so it just makes it a little bit easier to copy it. Otherwise, the formatting, it can get messed up a little bit and then you won't be able to paste it exactly into After Effects. So it just makes it super easy to keep track of all of this. I highly recommend keeping a notes tab with your expressions so you don't have to Google it every time. We've also got the idea dump, which is also from the beginning of 2023 where I had an idea of maybe doing a little bit of YouTube. I was really wanting to do more like a photo video type of YouTube channel, but obviously it hasn't turned out that way. Maybe in a different channel at some point, but it was just something that was really occupying my time at that time. But you can see here, I had a couple of ideas for some setup series. I still kind of want to do that, work a little bit with the setups because I think it's a huge part of being creative is being at a space that you really enjoy working at. So I definitely need to get into that. Some POV videos in terms of going out and taking photos. I love watching POV videos. And then of course the weekly streams. And again, it's just such an easy way to add a couple of ideas. Click this button and it quickly creates a new one. You can see when they were made. So oh, this was made just at the end of the year. I have a list down here as well where I had a couple of ideas for all the short form content that I was gonna be doing. Open that up and I've kind of started working on some. And then you can always add statuses to it. So in progress done to keep track of it a little bit easier. If you add a new view and then you can do a board view and that just helps you sort it by started in progress and done. Just helps it a little bit more if you wanna stay organized that way. So next one is pretty cool. I need to work on this some more cause I started on it. I really like the idea of this. So in my videos, I use a lot of music. I usually use one new song per video cause I don't really like repeating the songs. So I wanted to do a whole collection where I have different tags for all the different genres. I like a lot of classical, I like a lot of jazz for my music, or for my videos. And then I was gonna create a whole list where you can kind of add it in, you can add the links to the songs. 
where I've used it and I still need to build this out because I, I really don't like reusing the same music and I want to make sure I don't. But it also helps if whenever I am searching for music, I can go in and I can add a song that I know won't fit for a YouTube video as a backtrack, but would be really cool for like a montage for like one of the vacation montages that I usually make. So like this one, for example, if I open this one up, you can see it has the classical tag, all that stuff. Very easy to enter in all this information and display it beautifully. I love the look of the tags, giving them different colors and all that stuff. And then you can even filter through and sort through different tags, which just makes it super easy to find something specific that you're looking for. If we then go back into the main page again, we have now made it to the weekly planner. This is such a nice way of just staying on track with everything you have to do. And you can easily move them back and forth with all of this stuff, move them in there and check them off. It just looks super cool. The colors, very aesthetic. And it's right there when I open the page, which is the most important bit because when you start a new habit, you want to make sure that you make it easy for yourself to keep doing that habit, if that makes sense. Otherwise, you're not going to stick with it. So that has been my priority with this is make it as easy as possible. So you can see I had a couple of things I've already checked off. I've done this already. So that's pretty good. And I'm doing this right now so we can complete that. And I've also done this and this, which is perfect. And I've even done this and it just, it's nice to be able to tick off things you've done because it gives you this nice feeling of, you know, I've done it, I've ticked it off. Makes you feel a little bit better about your day. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the notion because I just think it's so sweet. And then we've got the YouTube calendar, which is where I keep track of all the YouTube videos, when I'm gonna post them, all that stuff, where I put in all the information, all the workflow, all that stuff. If I open this for the Dotford video, for example, you can see here, you can add the tags. I'm still working on getting better at actually updating the tags because sometimes it can get a little bit iffy, you know, I'm trying to get it done and all that stuff, but video is live so we can add that to it. And you can see I have the tag here for either Mopal Studios, which is work stuff, and then the YouTube one, which we'll get into in just a minute, but it's super important to have that in there. The date makes it pretty easy to see when I need to upload it and kind of the concept. And if I have any inspiration sources, I can put them in here and then a little bit of script. Most of my videos are unscripted, but I do usually have maybe an intro piece or in this case where I want to dive into, okay, what is it that makes this video special? Then I want to write that out and kind of think about it. So I know this is what I want to hit on and do in After Effects. But usually the After Effects part itself is unscripted. I just kind of get into After Effects and work, which I think is pretty obvious in my videos, kind of shows you a natural workflow of how I work and off the fix. We can close that. And then I want to talk a little bit about the tags. Cause if you see in here, this is a little bit of a different view of how you can view the calendar. So you can see, okay, what do I need to get done? What do I kind of have lined up and all that stuff you can see here, we have all of them live and all that stuff. And I still need to work on that. So right now, this one, for example, you can drag it into that. Cause that's what we're filming at the second. And this video that's coming out, maybe already been out, depending on when this video is going live, but this is the video I'm working on right now. And let's open up the character animation one real quick, cause I wanna show what it looks like. Cause I have also added a little feature so that if a video is sponsored, I've added a little link to it. So I can easily go in and see the contract or the contact information for my contact at the company and all that stuff. And again, you can see I have a little script written out and all that stuff. You can highlight it with different colors just looks, I, I, I love the look of how it looks. It looks so beautiful. Let's go back to the map cave and go back into the calendar view. And this is a new feature that they just launched, which super cool. And that is the notion calendar. I was actually looking for a calendar integration the day before they launched. So it's perfect timing. But if you click that button, you then open like an actual calendar. Super cool. You can sync it with your Google calendars as well. So I have my work email and then my regular email in here. It gives you a nice little overview of what you have to get done. You can see I have this YouTube video scheduled. I have the sound design video going live and another cool feature that um, is going to be pretty useful pretty soon when I start doing some one-on-one -on -one coaching maybe um, is the availability snippet thing where you can share your time. So if you're familiar with Calendly, it's pretty much the same thing, but built into Notion. So it's easy to keep track of everything in one place. Big fan of that, makes it easier than having to use different apps and all that stuff. So if you click that, you can then mark out, let's say I can only do it on Wednesdays in this certain time period, and then you can share it with a link and then people can go in and select a certain time frame of that and kind of book you for that point. Super easy if you are working with clients and need to set up some meetings and it's easier for them to pick a time because you know kind of roughly when you're available, but don't know exactly when they are. And I'm definitely gonna be using this very soon. I'm super excited that, the, that this is a feature in there as well. And you can even open Notion pages from the calendar and change the information about it. But if you hop back into Notion, I wanna talk about the YouTube calendar and 
the tag that we talked about. The cool thing about the Notion is that it's built off of a global calendar, which means that all my information is essentially typed into this global calendar. You can see I have a couple different views. I have a board view, I have a table view, which is just everything. And then I have the calendar view. And if we go back to today, you can see everything is in here, but then in my main page where I have it split up, I have it sorting by or filtering through the tag, which is why it's such an important feature of the um, global calendar, because it makes it really easy to sort through so you don't get everything at once, because it can just be a bit overwhelming because then you have maybe 10 things in one day. And at the same at the bottom where I have it filtering through the Mapal Studios one, which just keeps it nice and simple to stay organized. Create a new one, let's just click on a random day and go to the video title one. I've created a little template with all the stuff, the tags that I want in here, makes it super easy. It pre-fills the YouTube tag as well and it goes into pre-production and I can just fill it out. It makes it a lot easier than having to set all this up every single time. If you're a person that likes like note-taking, all that stuff, you'll love Notion, that's for sure. You can do all of this with the free version, which is super awesome. A new feature that they've released is the Notion Q&A, which is basically like your personal assistant within Notion, where it uses AI technology to help you understand your Notion page a little bit better, help you find stuff, and you can ask it questions. And it's a really cool feature if you just need something, you know, in a hurry, it knows it without you having to dig through, maybe you don't know, especially once you get really deep into it, you have a lot of different pages you have to sort through, so it makes it easier to navigate all of that. It gets better the more you use your Notion in terms of it gets more information fed to it. So it's super cool if you use Notion to have that feature just because it makes your workflow a little bit easier. I like it because you can access it from within Notion, but you can even, if you're not in Notion, you can still access it with a shortcut. If you go into, let's say the Notion calendar, which is a different app, you can hit Shift Command and K, which will bring up, you can go to your pages or you can talk to Notion AI, especially if I'm in After Effects and I need to know something really quickly, I can just use that shortcut instead of having to open the app and navigate and yada, yada, yada. So right now I can do, let's ask it, um, what am I currently working on, then it'll then go through everything in your Notion page and figure out, okay, this is what do you have on your calendar and all that stuff. And it gives you these little citations so you can go straight to the page, which makes it super easy if you need to see the whole thing instead of just a quick overview. But you can see here, it's, it's pulled up a couple of different points actually, which is super awesome. We've got the YouTube workflow video, which is on what I'm doing right now. And then I have the sound design animation video, which is which I'm also working on. And then this is where it's really important to be on top of your game because if it's just in the scripting and not going live, then it's not gonna know kind of that sense. So it kind of, it works based on the information you feed Notion. So it kind of goes hand in hand, use Notion a lot and the Q&A assistant will be so much better, but already just like that, you know, it, it picks it up immediately. The Q&A assistant can also give you a quick summary of different pages, which is super useful if you have a page for a piece of video you're working on or whatnot or an animation you're working on and you just need a quick rundown. You just need to remember, okay, I need to keep this and this and this in mind. So you can just ask it, give me a summary of YouTube workflow. And just like that, it gives you a super quick rundown of the information that I've put into that Notion page. So you can see it's a workflow video sponsored by Notion. Shout out to them once again. And then it just takes all that information and uses AI to condense it into something super small. And again, the citation is super awesome. You can click on it and it'll take you to that page specifically. So you can go in depth and kind of see, okay, where am I at and all that stuff. So super sick feature and you can use this for all different kinds of things. And if we bring it back up by hitting the command, if you go into it again, it is still in beta. So it's important to use the feedback options to make it even better for yourself in the future as well. So let's say I need I need it to get an expression from the author fix expression. Let's do what is the code snippet for inertial bounce. And just like that, it's given me the code snippet for it. Again, this is a perfect use case. If you are in After Effects, you need your expression quickly. You don't even have to change apps. It just shows up immediately. It finds it super quick. You can just copy and paste it right from here, which is awesome. It even gives you a little bit of a explanation of what the code actually does. So in this case, this code allows for an animated effect that mimics a bouncing motion, which is exactly what it is. You can click the source and it goes right into the expressions and we can go and find it and it has it right here. So super useful feature. I use this all the time, way better than just using a regular notes app. And really I found the Notion Q&A assistant to be super helpful in speeding up my workflow and just getting to points quicker than normally having to navigate through everything. But that pretty much sums up how I use Notion in my workflow and how useful it can be if you 
take your time and actually set it up. Because once you've set up, let's say the global calendar, that's it. Weekly planner, so useful if you like to stay organized and just need something where you can see, okay, I know I have to get this done, I have to get this done, and you can tick them off. Feels great. Again, you can get this as a template for free if you click the link down in the description. And I wanna say thank you to Notion for sponsoring this video. It's perfect because I use it already, so it just kind of makes sense to share it a little bit. Hopefully this has inspired you to go out and set up your own Notion page, get organized, because it does relieve a lot of stress that comes with being a freelance worker, you know, you have a lot of things on your plate, you have to be your own boss, and sometimes that means that you have to take control over your things and stay organized so that you can be on time for your clients, which is always the most important thing. I just wanna say thank you, and I'll see you again pretty soon. Peace out.